I'm Philip Miller. I'm a grad student in the group of Professor Eve Hermans at the University of Wisconsin-Madison in the Department of Chemistry. Uh, we are interested in heterogeneous catalysts, so first we want, we want to know how to synthesize them, but also how to uh, apply them for various reactions. We have various tools. Uh, we use Raman spectroscopy, we use um, EPR spectroscopy, NMR spectroscopy, but also IR spectroscopy is a very important tool for us. Uh, in this video application note, I'd like to discuss how and why we use the Pike Diffuse IR chamber for uh, the thermal treatment of heterogeneous catalysts. In this specific case, we are interested in uh, what happens during the thermal treatment of these catalysts. So we want to know um, how the organic uh, ligands, like, like what happens to the organic ligands during the calcination uh, treatment. And the good thing is, uh, using the diff diffuse IR cell is that we can use the powder as it is, and that we can uh, flow gases and heat it up to high temperatures to uh, simulate um, simulate conditions that are, that we also have in standard calcination ovens. Uh, so the catalyst we used was a uh, silica, and we grafted a tin uh, amine precursor on top of this uh, using a, vac a static vacuum. And yeah, then we wanted to know what happens during calcination to this amine species, and that's why we used the diffuse IR cell. We collected 32 scans and averaged them, and uh, at a resolution of 8 centimeters uh, to the minus 1. Uh, we used air as a, as a gas and uh, used a heating rate of 20 degrees C per minute. We heated the sample from room temperature to 550 degrees C. At room temperature, the CH stretch bands from the tin precursor at 2750 and 3000 wave numbers can be observed. As the temperature reached 100 degrees C, these bands already significantly decrease, while bands at 3286 and 3656 wave number appear. The band at 3286 may be assigned to the ammonium species that could form as intermediates on the silica surface. The band at 3656 originates from the tin OH groups formed due to restructuring of the tin surface species during calcination. As the temperature reaches 200 degrees C, a band at 3739 is visible, which stems from silica OH stretch bands of isolated silanols. Upon further heating, the band increases more, indicating the opening of siloxane bridges on the silica surface. As temperature increases to 550 degrees C, all organic groups have burned off and the desired and catalytically active tin sites are present. The results show the diffuse IR accessory is a valuable tool for us to understand what's happening during uh, thermal treatment of heterogeneous catalysts, to understand how uh, surface sites restructure and uh, how we also, in the end, how we can steer that to get a better catalyst in the end.